Hey guys, Chase Hass here. We're going to be talking about setting up a new profile on a Raven RCM computer. So we booted up the RCM and our CR7 and we're going to make a new profile and uh, this will basically go a step by step of how to set up an RCM profile. So we're going to hit our UT button down here at the bottom and it will bring up our spreader, our boom and our one section on here. Um, we're going to go over here to the gears which is the second tab down. We have applicator set up as our first tab. We're going to go to change new. I'm going to click, this is our current profile, I'm going to click here, new profile, and then hit the check, just got to think about it for a second, okay, so my other profile was Magnolia uh, Fertilizer, which is going to Magnolia, Mississippi, I'm going to name this one Magnolia Lime. Uh, it's going to ask me for the machine type. Uh, and this is a spreader truck, so we're going to do self propelled spreader. Uh, it's got pull behind sprayer, pull behind spreader, air card. I mean, it's got all your different things on here. Uh, but for this one, we're going to use self propelled spreader. Application width, since we're doing lime and we're in a spreader truck, we can do 50 feet. We'll hit the over button. I think some more. Uh, this is asking how many computers we have on. We have one RCM, and we're only doing one product because we're a single bin spreader truck. And all of our uh, fertilizer spreaders are single bin. This is asking you for the number of uh, fan spinner RPMs. We use one. We always use one. We never use two. Um, and then this box below it is asking you uh, whether or not you want to do... Uh, spinner rpm control if you have a pwm valve running your spinners you can check that if you're just using a flow control you don't check it application type uh, it's got a drop down menu and a granular fertilizer and then hit the next uh, product one granular application mode granular full width and that's because we you know, we just have one bed chain dragging it off. Some more thinking. We don't have any auxiliary drivers on any of our spreaders. So we hit next. This is our section summary. Um, it's asking you, you know, 50 feet, um, what it's wired as and what switch it's on. One and one, and that's correct. This is the uh, calibration number for your uh, spinner speed sensor. We have a tooth, a 12 tooth star. So we're gonna put 12 in there. Um, this low limit and this high limit would only apply if you were uh, using a PWM valve. Uh, so we could just put nothing in there. Uh, RPM sensor is assigned to product one. Uh, you can either, you can check or uncheck this box. If you leave it checked, um, it won't let you turn on the bed chain unless the spinners are running or it'll cut the bed chain off if the spinners stop running for any reason if it's not getting a reading back from it. Um, we use a PWM closed valve. I changed this 50 to a 100 response rate. Uh, we leave the dead band at 2, no valve delay and um, I don't ever check the PWM smart control. What it does is try to learn uh, your driving techniques and um, try to kind of counteract what you're doing. Uh, coil frequency 60, high limit 100, uh, low limit, change the low limit to 30. And that just kind of changes uh, how much PWM valve closes to help keep it from sticking. And then we do zero on the startup. Product density, 
Uh, since this is lime, we'll just punch in 90. You can put any number in there uh, for setup and you can change it later. Uh, we have a 360 pulses per revolution because we have a 360 encoder. We do not have a gate height sensor enabled. Um, spreader constant is 2200 divided by the gate height. So if we set up, when we're doing set up here, if we put in 2200 for spreader constant, and we put in a gate height of 1, later on when you go back, you only have to change your gate height and it'll change your spreader constant for you. Um, this is just tank capacity. You don't have to put anything in there for that right now. There's, you can do it on another screen. You have to put in rates here. Um, we'll put in a thousand, fifteen hundred, and two thousand. And then um, this is a rate bump. It's a button you can push. Like say you want to bump. 500 pounds of lime up for a second you can do that um, rate selection is predefined or rx that's correct display smoothing um, that you know if you're within 10 percent or so it'll just say you're putting out a thousand pounds even if you're putting out a little more or a little less and then uh, we do no decimal shift this is your off target array it'll beep at you if you're 20 percent off target this is our setup summary and then we hit next and we're good. We'll take us back to our UT screen. Right, the home button. And that's it. Technical assistance is available online 24 7 on our YouTube channel or our website, newtoncrouch.com. You can call us at 800 241 1350 Monday to Friday and speak with a real person. No recorded messages. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to assist you. Proudly, Made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.